Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. We were rudely interrupted last time by another crash. Well, I guess we're... Uh, sometimes it's, you just go through some crashy stages of the game. Maybe you know what we could try. What if we try doing... So we got a label running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what if we try doing, like, a clean all? Here we go. We clean up all the blood and all that. that it also help our frame rate, but it'll... Maybe there's something fishy going on. So, we'll try that. What is this? Is this, like... Dolomite, fire, fire clay. That's what all that red stuff is. It's got to be. There's an anaconda in there. Why do we carry that thing out? I carry that. Is our animal stockpile full? It probably is. Oh, yeah, it is. Where should we stash all these animals? I just want to get them out of that stockpile. Let's just stash them. I don't want to take up their food spot. Ugh. I mean, the, the real animal food spot. Let's just put them over here. There we go. We'll hang out. We'll bring them over there and then get them out of that trade depot. That's probably what mostly things in here. You can see all the cages. Lots and lots of animals in there. Anyways, before, since before we were really interrupted by a crash, it's that part of the game, I guess. There is a new version out. Uh, version 43 came out a week or two ago. Two weeks ago, I think. And um, I'm not sure how stable it is. Typically, they typically they start out not very stable at all, and then they slowly become more stable as, as the version goes on. And this, uh, actually, 42 has been a pretty stable version compared to the one before, which is, what, thir not 34. Was it 34? I think it was. That one I had, that one crashed on me all the time. It's quite annoying. But, we'll just keep on saving every once in a while, and we'll be alright. Moothcat has grown to become an alpaca. Alright, Moothcat. Nicely done, Moothcat. So, anyways, this time... We are working on getting a wall built. Hopefully this will get dug out eventually. And then we're going to start working on our wall. And we'll, we'll go all down here and then up. And then we'll work on some sort of a kill zone sort of thing. So if we do get attacked, which I'm sure we will before too long. I hope we will before too long, actually. Then we'll be in good shape. Copper is playing with a gold cover puzzle box. Uh, you know what? We do have lots of more dwarves, and we have no like bedrooms. We should we should do that. Oh no, I'm not going to do it just yet though, because I want to get that thing dug out. So once we dig it out, then I'll work on bedrooms. But we'll take out that, then we'll go bedroom it up. Which I don't think it is just yet. I can't tell if that is these or if it's just trying to be dug out. It's just it looks the same in this tile set. Yeah, I can't put a wall there. So yeah. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll work on our wall. Then we'll get some bedrooms set up. And then we will... Oh, look at all the animals. Look, there's so many animals. They're all in here now. There's a blackberry in there. What can I do with these things? I could maybe, like, toss them into a pit and then fight them. We could just let them out of the cage and fight them. Nothing's going to hurt me. I mean, the bear might be a little damaging, but nothing that tough. Um... There's just so many of them. What happens if I... Let's see, what is this one? What are you? Terrigan... Uh, a Terrigan, a Falcon. I'll dump you. Let's see what happens. Because maybe we can just let him go free. And some of them might attack me. Like, the anaconda might might attack me. I really wanted to train the anaconda, though. If we make more room in here as an animal stockpile, we're going to get a lot more junk coming down here. Let's do that. We could specify what we want, but we'll see what happens. We also have some undead chinchillas. What is this? And we have some buzzards in here. <laughs> there we go. They're carrying more of them. Mostly it's, like, it's just that fire clay, which I don't know why we don't have a place for fire clay. What kind of stockpile? Wouldn't that be like a stone stockpile? Don't we have room for that? Where's my stone stockpile? It's... Oh wait, it's clay. Maybe it... Where's my clay? Right here. See, this is salty clay. Why don't you take fire clay? 
Hmm. What goes over here? Woodstock pile. There's my leather, bar block, gem. What's fighting? A blind cave bear is fighting. Who's fighting him? Cake Lord. Oh, nice job, Cake Lord. Cake Lord doesn't look like he feels very well. How you feeling, buddy? Are you going? No, you're fine. You're going to kick combat training. You're fine. I don't know why you're blinking, though. I think you are. There's something wrong with you. Yeah, not this one. Where is Dwarf Therapist? Dwarf Therapist. Look at uh, health. Cake Lord, how you feel? Lord, he has some arterial damage. He can't grasp. He has an artery torn. And some nerve damage. Oh, the bear was a little more damaging than I thought he was. There's a troll now. Oh, it's right here. Why did it get here without anyone seeing it? I have you guys stationed down there for a reason. Cancel that. Uh, we'll send the cobalt guys to come kill the, the troll. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Nice job. Okay, save the dog. Sir. Kill the troll. What was that? Nothing too important. I'm starting to think this isn't going to get dug out. You have nine idlers. What's going on? Fighting a... Oh, is it, is it the buzzard? Did we let the buzzard out? No, no, that was a falcon. This one flying. Oh, there's been one flying by, and they just sort of shot it as it flew by, I guess. Bill Nye is fighting what? Another troll? Another dead troll. Good job, Bill. I'd say we're we're looking pretty good at fighting things. Let's take a look here. What's our skills at? Look, Kiklot has 11 kills. Sunak has 23 kills. Check that out. Eight of them notable. Most of them elves and humans. <laughs> 14 troglodytes. How's Cake Lord looking here? You got a troll. You got a make naked mole dog. Add that to your resume. A couple hum three humans. Bill Nye's got 10 kills. Most of them are troglodytes. Seven troglodytes for Gillespie. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, they're all right here. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them all. I'm really tempted about... Putting them down here just to see what happens. You know what we could do? We could build a wall. Like a walled in area. Dump the undead things into the wall. And have like a, a thing to stand on so the marks dwarves can shoot at them. So then as they we'll put them in the undead area, they'll rise up as a, some sort of undead thing. And then we'll stand on the wall, shoot down at them, and gain experience. That might be an idea. Maybe. Hmm. We'll think about it. First, we must get our outside wall, which I don't think is going to happen. I'm giving up. It's not going to happen. So let's work on just getting a wall built like this. And we're going to go down to probably about there, I think, is probably a good spot. We want... Where's my blocks? There they are. And then we're going to come over this way. I want to line it up. So let's line it up to, like, there. Like that. And then we'll come back this way. And this will be sort of our entrance. And then we can do... Does this need to be three wide? We could do it like this and make, like, a pit underneath it. And have sort of like a, a walkway, a zigzaggy walkway. Have a pit underneath it that they can trap them. So we'll do it this way. I'm not, I'm not making a lot of sense, I know, but maybe it'll make sense eventually. With all my blocks. Uh, we'll a wall. And we'll just go out to like here. What is this? Is this a tree that's not been chopped down? No. And then we will uh, we'll put a wall there, wall there, and put a door right there. 
Actually, do we even need a door? Maybe we should leave that open. Maybe that'll be more enticing for them to walk towards. So if we, if I do what I was saying before and put the, the, the bridge here, um, then, and the, with the door, maybe, maybe the pathing for the bad things, the things, anything that attacks us, I'm not sure how the intelligence of them works. But maybe it'll be, rather than come here and try to attack me at this door, maybe they'll be more enticed to come down this way and come around and come at where the opening is. Maybe. We'll make like a little one-by-one -one bridge right there. I think you can walk out that way. That way we can close it if we need to. Like if we get attacked by undead goblin arms or something. I'm curious as to how you. I want you. Is there anything new that you can do? Just gold and malachite. You're going to do that forever, right? Do I need to have that? No, it's not. It's um, suspended. Grab some charcoal. Making some charcoal. Lots of lots of combat things. We gotta get a fight. We are doing lots of combaty things that we need we need to fight things with it. Uh, so let's see if we, if we can do steel. We'll try a steel breastplate. Let's we'll see if we can make it. We'll get we'll. Oh, there we go. I just, it just said it. I missed it though. Cancels forged steel breastplate and needs three steel bars. We don't have those apparently. Sir, you can't do that there. You can do what there? Needs honey containing items. We need more jugs? It's possible. <clears throat> oh wait, we have um We have this happening. Making clay jug. It says we have clay jugs, but we need a So this is the kiln. Make clay jugs. Make me some more. <clears throat> we can also make some rock ones in case we do need some more. Where's my mason? Mason, mason. Make, um, what's the jugs? I can never remember where these things are. Is it Craft Dwarf? It must be. Rock Jugs. 20 to 40. We have 40 Rock Jugs, it says. So it says we have plenty of them. Alright, I'll increase the range up to, like, 60. Make it, like, 40 to 60. Not 630. 60. 60. <laughs> <clears throat> see if that works. Hey, look, we are actually planting things, though. Do we have anything? Can we plant anything other than these few things? Like, no, we don't have any seeds of anything else. Just plump helmets. Dimple cups, we don't have. And we had our outdoors farm, far, outdoor farm that we were working on, but we stopped doing that. I don't think we need any thread or anything, though, so it's not too big of an importance. Suspended so construction of what wall? It wasn't one of these, was it? Was it this one? That one. Okay. Let their blocks laying around out here. So, they'll, um, we'll get this wall done. And I think I do still want to come out this way and work on it. We may need to move the statue, though, to set it, like, right over here. Maybe right, maybe right outside the doors. Right here. Be a perfect place for us. Z a Zazgim statue. We can always just make another one. We can never have too many Zazgim statues. Why don't you make me a, uh, I think it's furniture, right? A golden statue. And I want it to be details. Existing image? Nope. Relate to a historical figure? We want a uh, filter. Uh, 
Uh, it's Asgium. There he is. I should tell him to make more of those. <clears throat> Just make like as many Zazgum Cancake statues as you can possibly work your fingers to do. What is this thing? Rotten Dog Tallow Roast. Alright, if you say so. It's like a... I don't know what it looks like. There you go, you're working on the statue? Oh, there's a bunch of coins there too. How's my coin stock pile looking? <clears throat> now we have a bucket full of them. Which is giving me a value. Oh, we are at 862 for our wealth. Okay. Look at our. We have five. Our food stores. 5,000. Loads and loads of food. Nothing in justice. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. I missed. I didn't see any of these. Disorderly conduct. Conduct. Poojin. Somebody injured Poojin. Mill Nye. Injured Poojin. Oh. And Poojin injured Lolor. It's like Bill Nye. Oh, was it? Did Bill Nye go on some sort of a fit? I think maybe he did. Alright, we're going to convict Bill. Sorry, Bill. You're convicted. We're also going to convict Poojin. Both of you. You know what? You go... <laughs> you go... Uh, you go whining around Poojin, then you get... You get uh, sent to prison. So we'll send Bill, I guess, for twice? Can we do that? I don't, I don't know if I've messed with Justice that much. We'll see what happens. We only got two cells. We got one for Poojin, one for Bill. They... I didn't actually finish these things. I wanted to get a... Um, they need a bed. And... I mean, basically, this is going to be a room for them. Otherwise, they're going to panic. So they're going to put a table and a chair in there as well. And a chair we'll put right here. Okay, I'm attached to a copper shield. Cool. Uh, we also need a stockpile, a food stockpile. Actually, we need like a beer stockpile. I don't think they need food. Man, I might need one of each. So we'll do that. There we go. They're getting carried in. See? Oh, actually, they're carrying it. No, they're not. They're carrying in the chairs and stuff. Uh, so this one's going to be no. Basically, we want to block. All, and we want just drink. Permit drinks at that one. Same thing for you. Forbid everything. Um, block all and allow permit drink. Okay, yeah, bring all the stuff in. There's Poojin. He's been locked up. Polkin's having a chat with him. <laughs> You stay in there, Poojin. You get out, you're going to be in trouble, buddy. Wait, is that your dog? Does Poojin have a dog? Is that what's going on? You can't bring your dog to jail with you. No, why is the dog in there? It doesn't belong to Poojin. Okay, where's Bill? Why are we not arresting Bill? He's not anybody important. Bill is our bookkeeper, so it might be a little annoying having him in there. We need to give that job to someone else. It is now summer. I forgot to auto save this whole time, but we didn't have a crash though, so that's good. Is that is that him? There's Bill. Being escorted by Poet. Sorry, Bill. You know? You go around breaking things. It happens, buddy. So now, this way this works is he's he's locked to this this copper chain, and they only can go, I think it's only one square adjacent to it. It may be one more actually than that, but they're going to be locked in here for a while until, I don't actually know how long they get locked in here. He's in there for, for building con destruction and disorderly conduct for injuring Poojin, and Poojin is in there for assaulting Lolor, the craft dwarf. These happened a long time ago. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I need to release them or if they just release themselves, actually. I don't know what's happening here. Trunk pillar. Why is this not being... It needs to be chopped. Please chop that tree. Now. There we go. Now it's being done. And let's get the rest of this wall going. 
Should we cross the bridge or should we just go straight up? I think we'll just go straight up. Now, what I could, what I'm thinking of, I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not. I had crashes and things, I don't know what's all been said. Um, I could have a, a pit so we can zigzag through this. We'll have like a floor so you can have to zigzag through. So if you get, if you fall off the floor, then you'll fall into the pit. Now the pit, we could just leave. Wait, is it up here? Is there a thief up here? I'll hold that thought. Oh, he's up on the wall. Oh, okay. I don't think he got anything, though. Um, so anyways. What was I saying? Oh, so we'll have a pit right here and a walkway on it. Oh, I can never say anything. Blind Cave Bear is finding... I can never say things. Who is this? Robotron, get the Blind Cave Bear so I can talk. Oh, no! That Blind Cave Bear is angry. But Robotron's dead! Um, but that's a problem. We gotta call call everyone in. This is This is serious. And let's kill this this cave bear that now has a name. No. Get him just standing over the body like a jerk. Get him. Yeah, there you go. Who was that? Sun Ike. He's right here again. Uh, Robotron has been found dead. He wasn't... I think he might have been somebody important. Uh, nope. He wasn't important. Okay. Anyways... I'm gonna con continue my, my talk. We're, we'll have a walkway, like a zigzaggy thing, and then a um, a pit underneath it. So we could we could fill that pit with water, and then they drown if they fall into the pit. That's something we could we could do. Um, we could tap into the aquifer, so then it would be completely filled up. Or we could just leave it, make it a big long drop, and um, put like spikes at the bottom of it or something. Or we just lock them in there, and then stand over them and shoot them, or put like walls around it and shoot them from there. So we'll, we'll think of something creative, though. Maybe. Put a wall there. Thank you. I want... I do want to fortify... What's it? We want this car fortification into this... So in case something, so in case something does come into here, we can we can shoot at it. Now what do we got? You're fighting another troll. Where's all these trolls coming from? It's dead already. And we are really good at killing things. We're becoming very good at killing things, anyways. I wonder if we have how much iron we have. We should be able to look at our stocks, and we can do tab tab not work. Tab to enable search. No? Mm, Alright. The stone. No, do I, is this going to tell me like, like iron or anything? No. It will not. Needs plump helmets. Let's see about armor. Make some iron things. We'll try making an iron breastplate. Make two of them. No. Nobody has said they can't do it. Okay, maybe we do have some iron. And we should. We melted a lot of things down. All the things that the elves, the humans... The elves, elves wouldn't bring any iron things. But the humans, I'm sure, brought some. Actually, I know they had some large things. A lot of them were like bronze, though. Which we could move over to bronze. Bronze is better than copper, right? Bronze is supposed to be stronger, I think. Actually, I'm, I'm almost certain. So we could at least move up to bronze items. Sir, I hate saying no to you, but no. No what? Oh, no. We don't have three iron bars. We do have, you can see here, we have lots of copper bars laying around here, so we can, I mean, we'll have, we already have a fully copper army, mostly. We probably will make, need to make a little bit more, because we're going to be getting a bigger group of folks. But I need to put a cut here. So thanks again for watching.
We'll eventually get our wall done. We'll be, we'll be set. We haven't been seized yet. We've been here for, what, three years or something like that? Three, maybe four years? No sieges yet. Just lots and lots and lots of troglodytes. Anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, there's... Wait, why are they sparring? Cool. That's the first time I've seen that. It's not a, uh... Can we view the report? Blocking with a copper shield. Parried and jumping away. The Mystical Manor bashes the sheriff in the head with her copper war hammer, lightly tapping the target. Cool. I've seen individual combat drills. I don't know if I've ever seen a spar like this before, though. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I should be giving them lots of... Where's my uh, dwarf therapist? Is it giving them, like, some skill? Who was it? Poet was one of them. There's Poet. He does have a little bit of skill. Neil Dwarf Tyson is an amazing crutch walker. A guy who does stunts on his crutches. <laughs> I had to put a cut. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.